in this tutorial, <coughs> we're gonna have uh, learn how to do switch case statements, and they're like if, else, and else if statements. So it's like an alternative to those statements. If you look on the stage, I have a movie clip with just like a rectangle with rounded sides and a dashed um, stroke, and it's a movie clip, and it's named Square underscore MC. In the timeline, I have one frame, and it's layer one that contains the movie clip and the other layer holds the action script and if you were to look this is the action script and oops all right so now it's back in place um if we were to look on the action script we have an add event listener and a function and we have the switch case statement and i'm going to explain what this does so i'm going to delete everything except the event listener and if you look, I put stage, which basically means when you put stage, you mean you're basically applying it to the stage because the stage itself is an item. And we're adding an event listener to the stage. And the stage is listening for a keyboard event, which is like um, basically uh, something that has to do with a keyboard, any keyboard, like pressing down a key, holding down a key, pressing a certain key. And what it, what it specifically is looking for is a key down basically saying that it's looking for any key on the keyboard that's down so if we were to press the enter button down then this would trigger the event and the name of that is going to be on key strike and so I'm going to make a function a handler which is basically what it is on key strike we're going to type in a name for it and then the name of the event which is a keyboard event and we're not going to return anything and then we're going to make a curly brackets and now we're going to type in switch and this is basically getting that you're writing the um, the if else statements and then you're going to put two parentheses and then two brackets in these parentheses what you're going to do is you're going to name the write the name of the um, the event so without not not this one not here not on key strike but right here which is E so you type in E and then you type in key code and what this means is that every key on your keyboard has like a, a code in it so like if you press the A button that has a code in it if you press the B that has a code every key has its own code now you write the case so that would be case meaning what the case is like what has to happen for something to work and that would be um, keyboard capitalizes dot right and then I want to type in a colon and I want to type in what happens and our square when that's down one type in square dot x plus equals 10 close that and now we're going to run this and we have an error oops I named square wrong which is square underscore mc which is something you need to know you have to write the whole name which I messed up on and if we were to press the right key of our keyboard that would move 10 pixels to the right something else you want to do is you want to press break and what this line of code does is basically it breaks this because sometimes when you write um when you make a case it's gonna loop in this case it's not gonna loop but if we were to make a a case and it starts looping and looping you want to type in break so that it only does it does it once until you press the keyboard again so if we're to play this now we could we're still able to do that Now we're gonna make a move left, so we're gonna copy this, paste it, and put this back a little. I'm gonna type in left instead of plus. I'm gonna put minus. And if we play this now, we can move back and forth. And that's basically well. Let's make let me explain it. We make a stage, which is the item. We're adding the event listener. We're gonna make a keyboard event, and it's gonna be a key down any key. 
the name of it is going to be on key strike. We're gonna, then we make a function to handle this, which be on key strike, the same name as the one here. And its name is going to be E, and it's going to be a keyboard event. So we type in void because we're not returning anything. And the function we're making a switch statement, which means that we're going to start making um, if and else statements. And there's going to be certain cases, which is basically what has to happen. And what specifically has to happen is the keyboard that right is pressed. And when that happens, um, this this colon is kind of like an equal sign, but um, yeah, so it's like an equal sign. It's like what's gonna happen when this keyboard, I mean, when the right key is pressed, we're gonna go to the square underscore MC, the X position, and we're gonna add 10 pixels to it. Now you don't have to put plus 10. You can just do square underscore MX. Go to the other side and put plus. And if we were to try to test it right now, it would still work. But this is like an alternative way. You can just type in a plus, and that just makes it easier so you don't have to type in that whole thing again. And we're doing the th same thing for the left. If you were to look, we move it minus 10 pixels because you want to move it to the left, so you have to move it 10 pixels back. Then you close the switch st statement, and then you close the function statement, and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Um, I forgot to mention that something you should know is that. Um, is that you don't have to use the switch you don't have to it's like an alternative so you don't have to know this but in some cases you might want to use this which well, I'll bring up in a later video but if you want you can just use if and else statements if it's easier for you or you can just use the switch statement if it's easier for you it's, it's all about preference so that's pretty much it I have to say so thanks for watching